20 men fighting for 20 years to save the last 20 miles of undeveloped coastline in Southern California. What if these 20 men hadn't been there? an important stream of Western thinking in general, that nature exists to be conquered as opposed to human beings being a part of nature. What is this? It's totally foreign for this area. This place is not meant to have this giant, giant structure. If the ARCO project would have developed, I don't think there would have been any stopping it. Ironically, the people of Botticito don't have a single beach park except the one that Surfrider got for them. Who has the money to buy big tracts of open space? Developers. He was a snake in the grass waiting to strike. $1.1 million. An additional $300,000. I don't $200, see the highest and best use of that property to be a couple of McMansions for some multimillionaires. People were outside. You couldn't hold the people. The land has spirits, and they have filled this room tonight. Thank you. We didn't think we had much chance of winning, but we won. There's nothing left like the Gaviota Coast. Around here, this is our religion. This is our religion. You don't have stretches of undeveloped coastline left. You have this. We are never going to give up. We'll keep coming back because the coast is worth it. You have to defend it. All this land up here is private property. If it's not defended, it's lost. At some point, we have to draw a line across the ground of our home and our being, drive a spear into the land, and say to the bulldozers and earth movers, the developers and the corporations, this far, no farther. With your involvement and support, we can preserve the only 20 miles of coastline that remains undeveloped for our children, our grandchildren, and all future generations to come. Join The 20. Go to www.the20.org to learn more about how you can contribute and help save Gaviota forever.